this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter. So many of you requested that I do something mermaid themed. Since I got my Sophie and Toffee box and the theme is mermaid dreams, I thought this was the perfect occasion. And so for this week's tutorial, you guys will learn how to make your very own miniature mermaid mirror project. I absolutely love this mermaid. She is super adorable and I love the pastel colors. Now, of course, you can change the colors to anything that you want. You can even make them in the theme of Ariel. She also has cute little starfish on her hair. If you don't have opal clay, that's okay. You can take some translucent clay and add some glitter in it. It won't give you exactly the same effect, but it'll still look really cute. If you see her in comparison to my fingers, she's actually really tiny. So I think she might actually be the smallest chibi I've ever made. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Gold, pink, blue, opal, and ecru polymer clay. All these are from Sculpey. Rounded pointy tools and a cutter. A container, some gems, your silicone whip, foil paper, a mirror, some Perlex powders, cabochons, a glue gun, optionally liquid Sculpey, wire or an eye pin. The first thing we're going to do is a sand base. Take your foil paper and condense it to the size of your box, flatten a piece of gold colored clay and wrap your foil paper with it. Now you're going to texture it with a toothbrush or any other crafting tool that you have. For the chibi, take any skin tone you want and make a ball and then lightly flatten it down to make the head. Push the bottom part so that it's not completely round, put some liquid Sculpey and the wire. This will make putting the head into the body much more easy. Roll a chubby teardrop for the body, cut the bottom so that it's flat, and then you're going to do the same thing for the lower body. Blend the back so that it sticks, and now push the body onto the head. And now bend her body so that you can make sure that it fits in your sand area. If not, you're going to have to shorten her tail part a little bit more. Now unbend the lower part and we're going to color the opal clay with Perlex powders. If you don't have Perlex powders, you can use eyeshadow or simply make a gradient with your clay pieces like what we're going to do later on for the hair. Once that's done, bend her lower body again so that it fits your container. Now place a border around her waist. Roll out a slim piece for the arm. Lightly pinch the tip to make it look like a hand and place it on the body. I wanted her to look like she was holding her tail, but you can do any hand position that you want. For the hair, take two colors, make them into carrots, and then fold and flatten for about 10 times until you get a gradient. Place a flat piece behind her, and you're going to give it some texture so that it looks like hair. And then once that's done, you're going to put her on your sand base permanently. For the tail fins, flatten three pieces of opal clay really thin. Keep the shapes random. Now color the opal with your Perlex. I chose to make a border, and then I colored the inside with different patterns. Be sure to color both sides. To place the fin, use liquid Sculpey to make sure that they stick to each other. Bend them so that they're actually flowy. The three pieces are there to actually give us some dimension. Make sure you're doing it while it's in the base, just to make sure that you're not going over the borders. Once the tail is on, Feel free to add some starfish or other decorations to make the sand area. Bake her, not with the plastic, for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once she's baked, you can either use your colored pencils or acrylic paints. I'm using my Prismacolor pencils for this one. Of course, if you want to make the face with clay, you can watch my other chibi videos on how to make it. As you can see, you will have to be really patient if you want to make them symmetrical. My second eye was slightly bigger. For the hair, make more gradient, and then roll them into long pointy snakes and some chubby ones. Lightly flatten them down, and then put them in whatever style you want as her hair. Always start from the bottom and work your way to the top of the head. Add accessories if you want, then bake one last time for 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Now for the case, take your deco whip and make any design that you want. This particular brand smelled pretty minty. It's also a very soft kind of cream, and I'm more used to stiff creams. Hence, my piping skills were not that great with this one, because I need more practice with softer silicone. 
add gems and any other decoration you want to make the outside unique to you. Make sure you let it fully dry. Now glue the mirror and the mermaid piece inside your base. If you're worried about the tail, go ahead and glaze it with your resin. I'm using the resin that was sent in the April box since I had quite a bit left over. The glaze will also make the glitter in the opal clay stand out even more. All done! Let me show you what I got in my May subscription box of Sophie and Toffee Club. So of course I did look what was inside, but I'm going to take all of this out just so that you can get a closer look on what was in this box. The first thing is the Deco Cream, which is an amazing brand. So most of these things are Japanese, which makes the box even more good value. Then we have some Ariel cabochons, pink and purple, extra piping tips, some gorgeous gems. I really love these ones. More cabochons. These ones say mermaid dreams on them. And then we have some boxes to deco with. Now I've seen some people have get the white one and I have the transparent pink one. And then there are two more boxes and these ones have mirrors inside them. The smaller black one, which also has a mirror. If you want more information on the Sophie and Toffee box, I will leave it in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. It's really fun to get a craft box every month, which is kind of different from all the other subscription boxes out there. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, especially Instagram. And if you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you guys next week.